Good day folks, welcome along to the vlog. Well today is Plum Porter tasting day. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I've just finished work. It's 6.05 in the evening and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 18 beers here. And I need to try them all. I think going up in half a mil, a quarter of a mil increment might have been overkill we shall see so what I think I'm gonna to do tonight in order not to cause myself alcohol poisoning is we'll just do the porter style today and we'll do the real plum ones another day I think they'll be a little bit more difficult because the beer having tried it at the brewery is a little on the sour side like a lambic of course it did have wild yeast on those plums so it's to be expected anyway let's get cracked into these plum porters and analyze them see which is indeed the best Roy's whatever it's called plum essence <laughs> Roy's plums <laughs> whichever well let's put Roy's plums into action anyway cut it short let's get on with it so whilst I don't actually have nine glasses that I can lay my hands on, I do have three beer festival glasses. Will you check it out? So that is what we're going to be using. So we've got the Birmingham Cider Beer and Cider Festival 2015, 2019 Robin Hood, and uh, the 2015 Newark on Trent. So what we'll do is split these nine beers into three segments. So first of all, we're gonna start with the Plum Porter, excuse me, monsieur, the Control, then the 0.25 milliliters of Roy's, get your gums round my plums essence, and 0.5 milliliters per liter of Uncle Roy's Plum Essence. So let's get cracked on with this. The Plum Porter Control. Let's see how the carbonation is. Oh, look at that. Sounds good. Right, let's get a, let's get a good sample in there. There we go. So that's got no plum in it. That is just the plum porter, just the porter, just the porter. This one is 0.25. Nice hiss of carbonation again. Sorry about the bashing on the side there. I'll try to relax that a little bit. And then, last but certainly by no means least, we have the 0.5. go. I'll just pop these caps back on because if we get a winner I'll be coming back to that. There we go. Right then folks let's go for the plum porter control no essence. Lovely roasty character on the nose. Very nice indeed. Look at that for a thick lacy lacy head. Anyway Let's get into her. Oh, yes. Really malty. Very low bitterness. That is a real, real delicious porter. Friggin' right, that is really nice. Right, 0.25 of plum. Let's see if we can taste any plum. I notice on this one, the head has already dispersed. Definitely picking up that plum on the nose. Absolutely, it's there in, uh, even in bucket loads, even at this low dose. Mmm. You know what? That's a plum porter. I wouldn't say you need any more than that. 0.25 mil per litre. That's delicious. So yeah, so far, 
that looks very promising having tried all of the other plum porters of course you know like the titanic and the st peters right 0.5 mil per litre let's have a go with this one much sweeter on the nose the head's still hanging around yeah it's really actually nice on the nose it's nicer on the nose than the other one more fruity They're creeping into artificial though let's have a taste wow that's plummy that sure is plummy I'm not sure if you need any more than that to be fair I don't know if it's too much mm. I'm not sure folks I'm not sure anyway because they're the three best ones I actually want to drink them <laughs> so I'm gonna to have to go and find three more glasses now for the next set well this will have to do we've got a uh, there's a beer for that Seba beer glass another Seba beer X great British beer beer glass and of course beer for punks poo dog right let's just get cracked into these there's one there's two there's three so here sorry about the clanking again we'll start with the one milliliter per litre nice the 1.25 mil per litre nice and the 1.5 mil per litre okay how do they look well they look bloody lovely don't they let's face it anyway so let's go for the one mil per litre they definitely sound like they're not going to retain their head as much I wonder if the plum essence has got something to do with that but you can hear a lot more fizzing going on which means generally the head's about to disappear wow so at one mil per litre you're kind of in the realm of Haribo sweets it is absolutely packed full of plum aroma wow let's have a try mm. so that is now borderline uh, becoming artificial let's try 1.25 Jesus Christ that is oh way 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 too much way 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 too much oh it's almost burning the nostrils let's have a try anyway you know I could see some people liking that but it's not beer anymore 1.5 mil per litre oh it's not even recognizable as plum on the nose now yeah definitely the realm of these three i don't think it's even worth bothering with we might not if well we're here for the deal i guess Let's push these three to the back i'm going to ruin my palate doing this now oh let's find another three more glasses and we'll do the big hitters eh oh yes one for the purists out there now <laughs> so we're going with a John Smith's extra smooth yeah another brew dog glass we've all seen this one Hunter S Thompson good people drink good beer and a blast from the past check that out seeing as I know the f the fact that I'm not gonna like this too mil per litre I might just top it up so we can see the old Idle Valley Tap logo on there anyway let's go for it someone's gonna mix up on these a little bit but yeah let's go for it one two three so we've got the ah have I jumped the gun here 1.5 
Oh, the 1.75's got mixed up. Let's put the 1.75 in here. Uh, sorry, 0 0.75. That's skewed the results, hasn't it? Go on, let's get it in there, lad. It looks clear anyway, folks. So this is now the 0 0.75. So this should be less than all three of the last lot. And then we'll go ahead and pour in the 0 points. The 1.75. How many have I drank? Too many. And then last of all, the two mil per litre. I can smell it from here. Go on, John Smith. Get in the glass. How do you like them apples? So let's go with the old IVB. Let's see exactly how this turned out. 0.75 mil per litre. Still a little bit potent on the nose. Plummy. Yeah, plummy. Artificial though. Definitely artificial. The 1.75. Jeepers. That is just blow you away material. Mmm. I only had a little sip of that. Completely ruined the palate. Well, we can't get into this one, can we? This is the 2 mil per litre. I did go a little bit aggressive with that pour. I think we know what the result's going to be anyway, folks. It'll be far too potent. So, yes, indeed. We'll push every single other beer out the way. I've not drank that yet. I'll leave it there. And we know that we've got winners over here. You could go 0 0.5, you could go 0 0.25, or you could indeed just have the porter on its own. Either way, all three of these are winners. All the rest just took part. So on that note, folks, that's my recommendation. That's the end of the video. It's already too long for a tasting video. Hope you had fun. I definitely did. I'll drink these. I'll throw the rest away. And we've all learned something, haven't we? Yeah. That maybe this isn't the best channel on YouTube. Hmm. Anyway, we'll see you on the next one, guys. If you like the video, like the video. And uh, just hit that bell icon. Sub up. You'll know when the next one's out. Cheers.